The Millennium Highway, the main thoroughfare connecting the north and south of St. Lucia, has been in a deplorable state for many years now. It has been three years since the C.O. Williams Company was awarded the contract for the redevelopment of that road. But the start and stop approach to the construction of the road has only succeeded in worsening its condition. The president of the National Council on Public Transportation, Godfrey Ferdinand, says the Millennium Highway is a source of much stress and frustration for his members and the motoring public. It's been more than three years complaining about the, the, the Millennium Highway. And again, we are not seeing any weak um, work being done on, at nights, and we are not seeing that there is an, a, a, a fast track on that road. Uh, no person, there, there's no urgency on that road. So for us, that too is a concern. And they've requested us to voice our concern on their behalf. That's the job of the council, to voice concern to write. And so after this interview, because the media has been at us, we've held back for a while, um, after this interview we'll write officially expressing our concerns and the areas that the operators are speaking about in terms of the, the condition of the road. I mean, we have potholes in the south. That's unbearable. St. Lucia's Prime Minister, Philip J. Pierre, when questioned on the situation of the Millennium Highway, was forceful in his response. I am disgusted and I'm angry like them, even more than them. So I support them in that regard. I really support them. But you must look at the history. Let's look at how the contract was awarded, who awarded the contract, under what conditions the contract was awarded. When we start discussing all that, we'll continue. But, but I'm just like them. In fact, you spoil my day. <laughs> the Prime Minister promised stern action if the situation is not addressed soon. What's happening there is ridiculous. What's happening there is, is something that is calling to heaven for vengeance. You understand? But we are tied into certain contracts. That is difficult to get out of. But I support them. And if I could lead a demonstration tomorrow against that rule, I would go. I would go. Because there's absolutely no excuse for it. But as a government, as a government who will run the country now, obviously the blame will come to us. Obviously. Not fair, but obviously. So, but we did all we can. But the time may come when we, have, we may have to take a drastic measure that we ask the public to support us on. But this is not the only road in urgent need of repair. The National Council on Public Transportation's president says the complaints are far and wide. We, we have concerns about the road markings on the, the main road. We have concerns about lay And we have concerns about... The, the speed at which operate um, the contractors are blocking these holes. We don't see operators or contractors working on weekends. We don't see them working at nights. And it just shows that there is no urgency to bring relief to um, the general public in terms of the, the, the maintenance of the road. News 4 sought to contact the contractor for the reconstruction of the Millennium Highway, C.O. Williams, but was told that the project manager was off-island and would get in touch upon return. Among the questions to be asked are, what is the holdup with the project? When can St. Lucia expect the Millennium Highway to be completed? Why has the company not placed signs and signals at some of the terrible points along the road to alert drivers? And is the approach taken to the Millennium Highway project that taken by the company for other projects in its native Barbados and elsewhere? Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.